Hello everybody, Zacharine here, and this is another post commentary because I pressed the mute button again while sailing. So it's going to be another long episode of just me talking to you guys. Before I'm recording this, I'm a little stressed out because Camtasia started to mess with me. I had to repair it, I had to restart my laptop, I did blah 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 blah. And it annoyed me so much. Anyway, uh, in this part, we're going to go through this whole dungeon and fight the boss of the dungeon and do everything in this dungeon and then that's about it, I think. I don't know what I went up to. I'm stupid that way. Oh, I finally got this working. I was thinking of actually taking a break and this didn't work. But, sorry for not uploading a long time. Well, it's only been like... I'm like two days or three days late, I guess I could say that. Because um, I've been ill last week and I recorded this the day before I went ill, which I guess is lucky. I think this boss is called Shadow Ganon and uh, it said that it would be more effective if you use a bottle instead of this the sword when fighting this guy. At that current time I didn't have a bottle. <laughs> uh, because I had like the firefly and the soup. Yummy soup. I love soup. Ain't much to talk about so I'm just going to be bubbling on all the way through the episode part. Kick on every episode nowadays. Oh my god. <laughs> I really hate this tedious boss. It like really reminds me of the um, Ocarina of Time boss where you play freaking tenants again and guess what it's really based upon uh, maybe. Because it's like isn't the only time you have to fight him in the game. It's just the start of something horrible. Really horrible. I hate that guy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so I sound tired, I just woke up a while ago, even though it's like, it's two at the moment, so I woke up about like one. I had a little late in. Don't blame me. I was tired. I stayed up to like 1am last night, so I woke up at 1am. So, oh my god. I sleep so long. <laughs> Let's get a hammer on my yard. It's awesome. What am I doing? Why am I just standing there? Finally. <laughs> I'm just standing there. I'm, I bet I'm reading at the words. I wouldn't be surprised. I uh, watch myself play this. It's weird. But this is my like first... Gonna be my first upload using Camtasia 8. I use 7 but now I'm using 8. That's why it didn't really work. Finally, it's working again. I didn't even get to put a video on the freaking timeline. I've had it fucking up. Like I tried, like I get input media and then I drag the video file onto the track, and then it doesn't respond, and I have to close it and try again. But it never gets further than that. Just because. Oh my god, it's so stressful. I was annoyed. God, those guys are the pig, walking pig things are so easy now. They like, don't, they just work. I used to like get hit by them all the time. I think these ones are a little bit different. Maybe they have my HP or maybe they take more hits, but I find different. I think they're different tone and color as well, unless it's just a firelight. I wouldn't know. This dungeon is awesome once you come here a second time. Oh, by the way, I'm not getting the piece of heart here. Because this is going to be a speed run, not a 100%. So I don't need really hearts. Because um, even though I get hit quite a lot, I don't lose a lot of hearts at once. If you know what I mean. So I don't think I need them. When I fight bosses, they're usually quite easy. 
Except for the one I'm gonna do soon. Oh my god. Well, not the one here. This one, the one here was simple. I did quite. That's quite good. That did the boss here, which I'm really happy about. Oh my god. <sighs> I think I'm. Um, I think I'm gonna do another. I think this might be actually if I ever get to recording that this may be the last part until the end of the month because I'm very very busy nowadays so I'm gonna after this I'll decide and I'll make a video saying whether now I'm in hi hiatus for a couple of weeks or not unless I get to recording I don't know it's very hard to get into recording once you got no time to do it I may actually record later or right after this I don't know, maybe I feel like it because after doing this I'll be talking for like half an hour I'll be like there's a lot of talking for one day even though I used to talk for two hours oh my god <laughs> I don't even know how I'll do it maybe because I'm playing the actual game it's been freaking six minutes and I ran out of things to say already oh no Piggies. I remember when I first came here, I was actually very... Maybe I could say I was acting pro doing this place at the first time. Didn't get caught once. I don't think. I, I don't think I fell down. Maybe I did once. I can't remember if I fell down or not. You know, going back to the bottom floor and let's do it all again. I might have done that once. But that might have been practice file. <laughs> The pig is gone. It's gone missing. Shouldn't there be like a pig here? I don't know if they forgot to put him there or something, but he was there last time. I don't know why he ain't here again. Okay, I need you there. I'm reaching the top already. See, that's how quick it is. It's like been less than 10 minutes and I'm ready at the top. I could say I'm at the top now. Because I'm just. Yeah, there he is. Oh, actually, there's stuff here to do, so it may not be before 10 minutes. Oh my god. Okay, I'll cheat my way through this. <laughs> I'm using the wind and using the deco leaf to go for it. Yeah, the fly for it. Except for. Sh what's it called again? S siddling? Sidling? Either way. So I don't have to do that and get caught by the light which will cause um, bombs to fly at me with it. I think the bombs fly at you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I got you go for it. <laughs> I just noticed up there there's that. <laughs> Imps, imps, hey imps. Hey go, hey. I just like them with um passion. Passion. Okay, now it's the boss time, and I hate cutscenes. Really hate cutscenes. You can disturb me talking, and I don't like you being disturbed. But yeah. There we go, I'm in the place where my sister is, Ariel. I don't gotta talk to Ariel. <laughs> that room is huge. And that face is awesome. Like always, I'm not gonna read the script during post commentating because I don't know how fast I read it or how slow I read it. So I'm not like sitting there feeling quiet for a couple minutes. <laughs> Just like, I don't know what to say or I missed a line, no. You know what I mean? <laughs> I see that I've read quite fast here. Like always, I can't read slow for my life. 
and my birds and birds flying in and she disturbing birds and stuff. He's <laughs> bumming shield. That's so hard. Where did you get that? Yeah. Short lines easy. Peasy. Lemon squeezy. Oh, who wish does that? It makes no freaking sense. <laughs> you know, like, even when you complete the game, I don't know why she does that. At all. Oh my god. Nod. Huh. I keep being quiet during the cutscenes uh, when I'm post commentating because I can't need to say. I don't want to ruin the mood. I don't want to be an idiot and drift off topic like I always do when post commentating because I've got nothing to talk about. Like, what's with Minecraft? It's awesome. Kind of thing. <laughs> oh my god. The other day I bought Shadow of the Colossus. Oh my god, I love it so much. It's the best game ever. I love it. Even though like, I rage and I scream at the screen, kind of thing. But it's such a cool game. I love it. I only bought it like three days ago. I've been playing it for like two days. And not two days in a row, but you know what I mean. <sighs> now it's boss time. Door shuts. It locks. Water stops coming in for no complete reason at all, and tries to turn you inside. Birds squeeze in, and epic music starts. <laughs> and it's got an epic mask on a bird. I want a bird with a mask. Quite cool. I love how I did no mistakes in this boss. I don't know if I got hit or not, I maybe got hit once and that might be because I don't say stupid like always. But yeah. I did quite well. This music is quite cool. This boss music, I like it. I think I'll stay in this part as going like you just keep running and running and running and even if things pop up, the bird will kill his own comrades just for you to see. He had you stabbed him <laughs> full front. I like what's up with that? Oh, I don't get it. So if you killed him as well. Kill your comrades, bird, kill it, it'll be happy for me. I think in those parts supposed to be like hearts or something. And I remember when I first played this game, I was stuck up there. I didn't know what to do to the bird's face. We just standing there for ages. I had no, re had no reason why at all. He <sighs> like tried to stab it with his sword. It doesn't do anything really. But yeah, it's time for the actual boss. That was just like the intro of the boss. His wings are quite beautiful. Very beautiful. Her is glowing in the dark. Awesome feathers. I bet that the feathers that you collect from the other birds. Because they look exactly the same. That glowing yellow greenish. I bet they got the same kind of feathers. Maybe they're the same type of bird. I don't know how this goes nowadays. Okay, so front this boss, you have to, um, when it started walking like that, you have to walk in front of it so it's bird's beak was stuck on the floor. And then the hammer on it, or a sword. The sword, you can use stab it for sword, but I think the hammer's more effective. Because you just got the hammer and it's, you have to use it at the beginning, so it makes sense to use the hammer. Yeah, I think you hit it like three or four times, and then you have to hit it again, like another three or four times. So that's free. So maybe you have to hit one more time and then the mask will fall off. Oh god. 
my um, computer's been on standby, so I had to like move the mouse. <laughs> but yeah, let's see. Is it four? Yeah, okay, it's four. The mask falls off, and it's got red eyes, and Link looks so happy. See, that's one. The mask is at the way during this boss. Sometimes it's like in the most inappropriate areas. Okay, that's two. Okay, that's three. Okay, that's four. Okay, I think it's five then. See, this bird usually like tries to swoop in and um, see that's one of its attacks, and it's only used that. That's why I find this um, boss sweat so well because it didn't even use all its attacks. Like, didn't get to do it to its full advantage. Okay, a five. Because usually, like, flies around, it's keeping it on the bird, and it's like swooping down, and you have to like dodge its claws or something. But yeah. Why did it like start killing it? <laughs> that makes no sense. Maybe the pirates did it, I don't know. Wouldn't make sense. Hey, <laughs> cheer, free cheers. Now eat your heart, Link. You gotta beat your character now. Yeah, it's energy cleaves by one. And the birds, the feathers start flying down. It'd be cool if they were like, the green ones that flew down. It'd be quite beautiful. But you know, you can't, can't have everything in the game. Hmm. Now for another boring cutscene. Love how the light it looks. Like all the symbols on the door and stuff. And I, and at that moment I was saying how big the door is compared to Link. is like the quarter of the size. There he is. Ganondorf. Hey, the annoying. It's been a while, boy. Yeah, so he just starts being a jerk. And he wants you like, to punch him in the face or something. You can tell he's the last boss in the game, obviously. It's Ganondorf. In every single Zelda game, Ganondorf is usually the boss. Except for a Skyward Sword. I don't know why they changed it. Ganondorf is an epic character. Like, great personality, great skills and stuff like that, you know. I was disappointing as Guy's Sword when the final boss wasn't Ganondorf. It was like Demise or something. Yeah, it's called Demise, isn't it? Yeah, it's called Demise. And um in this part it's saying that a sword that I took out the Caladaria is actually supposed to be a um what's it called again? I don't know. It's supposed to be the seal's key, if you know what I mean. If you took it out, all these powers are knocked. The sword is supposed to be sealing away Ganondorf power and Hyrule. So you've unlocked Hyrule and Ganondorf. So now he's more powerful than ever. <laughs> My sword is bigger than yours. <laughs> I'm glad to put this kind of part in it because it kind of makes the um, story more interesting. Tetra! Starts so doing the freaking Olympics on the freaking Ganondorf's head. How would it supposed to be like 14? I don't know. That's so tiny! Uh, compared to the adults, they're insane. They're supposed to be like half their size, not freaking quarter of it. <laughs> he's not even laughing. It's like teeth are not moving at all. And apparently he's laughing because you can hear his laugh. Ganondorf music. In I think he's saying that to um, Tetra Zelda, Princess Zelda, because she has the um, Triforce. Embarrassed, come save our days. It's a dragon. I don't know if you hear that, but the house phone just came, just went on. Hmm. 
Okay, I got like 10 minutes left to talk and then I can take a break and catch drink and the yeah, time flies by anytime you do anything. Even if you hate time, I hate time. It's slow, but it's fast at the same time. You know, confusing time. Father time decides me. Decides me? What decides me? <laughs> Weird word it's made up. But yeah. Then it's like. Tetris like fainted for some reason. I have no idea why. She likes consciousness for some reason. Can't relax, get into office still all around, little kid. Lord Valu saved us. And then stuff's gonna blah 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 blah. And it got like I'm worldish. And I've like no idea what I say in law. Ganon's grasp. Blah 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 blah. And then he starts going away with his um hook shot thing magic is well not a hook shot, but this hook on his tail that you use for his boss. I could actually put that on there. I said it's a weird end of a tail. <laughs> but I guess if it wasn't there, what else would you use to swing over the bus? Okay, now we're gonna go back to Hyrule. Hyrule's cool. Because Hyrule is Hyrule. I love the plot of this game so much, it's like awesome. <laughs> Tetra finally wakes up and he smiles. <laughs> he does a sexy smile. And a sexy pose. It's at the front. And the stone starts talking to you. And then Tetra makes like a freaking hissy fit. That someone's using the stone that she gave me. Great. Ah, uh, this bit always confuses me for some reason. But actually, it does make sense. As a, you don't, you don't know what I'm talking about, but you will soon if you ain't watched this before. I mean, play the game or watch the LP of this game before. Okay then, we're back in Hyrule and Tetris with us, and she's so slow for a pirate. It is just strutting. She's not running. She's not walking. She's strutting. Why strut? I don't know why I talked to her. Maybe I was trying to pick her up, like you could do with um, um, people. <laughs> you get what I mean in the future. You can pick up people. Maybe I picked up people before. I don't remember. Be like a pot. Like picking her up like a pot. Okay, there we go. Enter. And now it's a long, long, long cutscene about this guy over here. Of course I heard about that, he kept saying about it all the freaking whole story. The place where you to return as a kingdom. This is Hyrule. And I am his king, the famous Nahasen Hyrule. That's hard to say and I don't even know if I said it right or not. <laughs> oh my god, you so well to talk to me by a boat. So the king is a boat, and the boat is a king. Okay. Probably was leading me to defeat Ganon from the start. Damn it, he used me. <laughs> I'm joking, he didn't. <laughs> but still, he could at least told me his intentions. That coat is way too big, you can't even see his hands. Was this room even in, like... Or Queen of Time, was it? I've never seen this room in whole Queen of Time, the swordsman standing around. Maybe there was, but I've never actually played the game. But I swear to you, like, maybe, oh, maybe I just like made this room for the ceiling room kind of thing. Oh well, but still, maybe it just 
you know, I'm just blabbering on, but yeah. I'm saying that this room may not may or may not be in the Ocarina of Time. I don't think it is. I think this room is just an add-on from the Wind Waker, so the sword has someone to stand. Other than the same room as Ocarina of Time, because Ganon know where it is. Maybe. He's talking about the Triforce's wisdom. That's the one that Tetra has. Zelda slash Tetra, because apparently she's Zelda now. According to Ganon. It's like beard is like got squares on it. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> You're just talking just blabbing on and on and on. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But yeah, apparently he has the other part of the Triforce of Wisdom. So like, you can like, give it to her, you know, put them back together and make it try for us again. <laughs> Blind your eyes much. Oh, now she's like got pale skin when she used to have tanned skin. Great. Fantastic. Let's go, like, Makeup on and stuff, and Triforce in her hand, and she's like jewelry. So, congratulations, you turned from a bitch to a whore. My fate is gay. You are the true hero of the royal family for a high order, lasting to the bloodline. So, now he's talking about that Zelda is like a royal person. And apparently, she got the same name as the other princess. Kind of original. And now it's got an awesome, like, Ocarina of Time music. <laughs> I think it's Ocarina of Time music. Yeah, it is. Because, um, yeah. Maybe it's because of the lullaby, maybe. I think it's a lullaby. I don't know. I never played the game, like I said. I don't know why I keep talking about Ocarina of Time. The high rolls got to me. It's saying that if Ganon continues on and this. The kingdom returned into shadows and despair, and so will the world above, which is the one with Helen. And has the Helen? Okay. The sword has lost its power and needs to get the power to repel evil back into the sword. So we're gonna go back onto the shore and do that, but not in this part. <laughs> Zelda's gonna stay in this room forever and ever, and we're just gonna leave. Fun, isn't it? Like, there's no bathroom, there's no shower, there's no bed. She must have a hell, hell of a time here. With nothing to do, boredom. Hmm, what would I do if I was in here? Hmm, I have no idea. I don't know. What would I do if I was stuck in that room? Who dance or do some stupid tricks that I don't know how to do but practice them? <laughs> And now she's gonna end up being like, oh, so pity. You're like, oh my god. And she's gonna apologize to me, and I'll be like, ah, no big deal. <laughs> See? Ah, no big deal. So now I leave. Finally. Oh my god, finally! She stopped talking, and the cutscene is over. One oh, nah. So there we go. This um, cutscene is over, and the episode is just about over in like ten seconds, nine seconds, you know, a couple seconds, you know, like four seconds. <laughs> okay, see you guys later. See ya. Bye. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be behind. I got a couple seconds left. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. So, bye bye.